Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. <laughs> I slept in today. I pulled out a bin. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. So this is my Easter bin, and it's got Valentine's Day stuff, as you can see, a heart. Look, it's broken. I gotta fix it. And that's a heart footstool, and there's a bunch of spring stuff in here, because I figured, in addition to the clearance stuff, which I started putting in that bin over there, I'm gonna pull out, well, obviously Valentine's Day has to go in, but I'm gonna pull out some of the spring stuff that's not necessarily Easter, like this piece is springy, but not necessarily Easter. And I can get those started to be, you know, put in the booth for this month. And then next month in March, go full spring. And that way in April, because next month will be Easter. We do a month ahead. I mean, I pretty much do a month ahead. So Easter will go in in March and then April it'll stay in, but March will be full on spring. But this is, I mean, this is a cute piece. I love this little vintage. I better take the price tag off. <laughs> As you can see, this is what I mean by, I mean, you gotta pick up your pieces for like next to nothing. This is 50 cents at a garage sale. It's adorable. I mean, why wouldn't you want that? I don't even know why you'd sell that. It's so cute. So cute. I'm going to sell it. <laughs> that just didn't make any sense, Daisy. I mean, why would you sell that? <laughs> I'm going to sell it. <laughs> I've had one cup of coffee a day. I have not feeling it. And then the kid woke up and started harassing me. She goes back to school tomorrow, y'all. In school. They have a professional development today, day today. Because after all that time off and another Monday off last week, they need another Monday off. <sighs> You'd think the week that they were going back to school, they'd make it a full week, but that would be just too much for them. Don't get me started. Don't get me started, but she has to go back to school. So she'll be in school for one bloody day and then home for three. I have one day. I'm going to pick it that one day. So tomorrow I will be taking all this stuff into picket and working my butt off until she's out of school. That's the plan at least. Okay, I just heard from my client and she wants more distressing and a glaze. <laughs> you know how I love the glazes. gonna be a problem. I got my lights on so I can see. Um, and it's only because I don't love glazes. I mean, glazes do what they're supposed to do, but I'm not a fan. So it's not my chair. It's not my chair. It's gonna be glazed. <laughs> After it clear coats. After the clear coat. After after the clear coat and then I'm going to throw a copper glaze on it because the one the mirror that I'm trying to match it to um, definitely has a copper glaze on it so I'm glad I have the copper glaze so I don't have to go out and find something new <sighs> can you tell I'm like gearing up to it I can't even function I'm okay with distressing more she wanted more distressing, which is awesome. I love a client that's like bold in their choices. She knows what she wants. Love that. I absolutely love a client that knows what they want. It's the clients that go, I don't know. What do you think? No, it's not going to my house. doesn't matter what I think. And they're usually the ones that are unhappy. So I much prefer a client that's like, no, I want this. Perfect. That's what I love. It's like, you know what you want. It may not be my choice but you know what you want in your home or your office. Awesome. That's awesome. That's what I want. I want a client that knows what they want. So I'm going to sand this a bit more and we're going to finish it today.
Okay, I beat it up some more. I'm going to clear it now and uh, glaze it. I went ahead and gouged some pieces out. She wanted to see dark streaks, so I made sure there were channels for the glaze to go into. Okay. Wish me luck. I'm going to glaze it. Back out in the living room packing while that dries. Still have my Etsy shipment I haven't done yet. So I have this wall pocket that I was gonna pack up, but as you can see, one of the rings is broken off. Wall pockets do really well where we are. And it's a heart for Valentine's Day. So I was like angsting over where I was gonna find a, a loop like that for this one. And I'm like, well, I could maybe bend one, but it wouldn't be perfectly round and blah, 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 blah. Till I got smart or stopped being stupid and decided to replace all the rings with jump rings. And then I had done this once before, which that's why I'm like, why didn't this dawn on me? Um, I'm gonna hang some crystals and then one actual drop off the heart with these jump rings that are gonna hold this on. So that's what I'm gonna do there. But I just, sometimes you gotta go really, instead of fighting with what you've got and trying to figure out how to find one the right size, just replace all three that are still remaining. I did not just put this on backwards. I I totally just put this on backwards. Wait, yep. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Who knew I could put it on the wrong way? If there's a will, there's a way. Day. I was working on the client chair and I finished gluing it and I glued it to the floor. <laughs> I tried to move it when I was leaving the room and I literally glued it to the floor. I was like, oh, I'm so glad I don't have good floors in here. <laughs> this is why I don't replace my floors. I just have some floor in there because there's no point when I keep doing stuff like that. I just totally wrecked I would have wrecked any laminate floor, anything that I have in, had in there. So I was like, well, oh, well, I just kicked it and came off. So, okay. Really? I got one gemstone in and all the rest of them on the outside. So now I've got to get this little sucker out. It's been 20 minutes trying to put a jump ring on a stupid wall pocket. Oh, oh yeah, okay, oh. Now it's got a little bling on it. Yay, now it gets a price tag. And in the shop, I think it can be hang, hung next to this wall pocket. I'm gonna get the breast set price tag off there, but it's just a wall pocket. I don't know what people do with these. I don't particularly like them, but they sell. So I am assuming they put arrangements or something on them. Metallic purse. Okay, the clear is mostly dry. I had a bit of comfy on, I'm so cold. And I wanna take a nap. <laughs> so I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna do the glaze. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.